Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I'll be showing you how to install DWM in Simple Terminal on a base Arch Linux system. Since this is the bare bones Arch Linux setup, we won't have all the extra fluff of a desktop environment or unnecessary packages that come with one. Instead, we'll have a minimal window manager, also known as the dynamic window manager or DWM. All right, let's start out by installing a few packages to get DWM working on this system. If you need help installing Arch Linux, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below and also in the right hand corner. First, we'll need a few packages for really development and editing. So let's do sudo space pacman space dash s y then space base dash d e v e l. Now what this package is, is the base development package. It'll help us compile the source code of the two suckless sources that we will be downloading and installing today. So next is git, so we can pull down repos. And then finally vim, a text editor that I'll be using today. You can use whatever text editor you're comfortable with, such as nano and others, but these three packages will get us started. Let's press enter and type in your password for your administrative user. And the first thing that will come up is whether or not we want all the members inside the group called base devel, which stands for base development. And yes, we do. So we'll select enter as the default option. It says the install size is 319 megabytes. We'll press enter and let things install real quickly. After those three packages are done installing, we'll continue on by cloning down a few repositories. Make sure to support the channel by subscribing below and hitting the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. All right, let me clear the screen so we can see things a little better here and let's clone those repos down. So first we'll type in git space clone space https colon forward slash forward slash git dot suckless.org forward slash dwm. Now this is the official repo of suckless and specifically dwm, their dynamic window manager. So this will pull down the source repository for dwm with all the files necessary to build dwm. Press enter and give it a few moments to clone down. Of course you need an internet connection to do any of this. You would have figured that out by now. And also, if you already have a package installed on your system, let's say it was necessary for something else that you did on your computer, no big deal. Pac-Man will take care of it and just skip over that package since you already have it. It might update it though, in case you're running a few versions behind. All right, now if we type ls, we'll notice that dwm now exists on our file system here. Mine's currently located in the home directory under my home user directory. Yours will exist wherever you were last at, but this is fine for me. I also want to get simple terminal down. So we'll do a very similar command if I go up a few times instead of retyping everything. I'm going to reuse this and then instead of DWM at the end, I'll type in ST. This will clone down the simple terminal repository so I can build that as well. And I'll press enter and that will start cloning down. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please smash that like button for me. It really helps me out. All right, we're getting pretty close. We just need to install a few more packages. I'm gonna clear the screen once more. All right, and now with the screen cleared, I'll install a few more things here. So I'll do sudo pacman space dash sy, and then I'll type xorg dash server, xorg dash xinit, lib x11 space lib xin, erama space lib xft, and web kit to gtk. Now these are all packages and libraries that I'll need in order to successfully compile DWM and ST as well as render DWM. After I have all these typed in, I'll press enter and we can see that there are quite a few dependencies here. We'll accept those and let things fly here. It'll take just a few moments. And if you haven't already and you're still waiting around, make sure to smash that like button for me. All right, now we're getting real close. So I'm clearing this once again. All right, and now I want to make sure I'm in the home users directory. So mine's 
forward slash home forward slash savvy nick. If you need to change directories, you can do cd space forward slash home forward slash your username. Mine's savvy nick. So I will also check this by typing pwd and I've confirmed it's in home savvy nick. In here, you might have this file already, you might not. If you don't, you'll type in vim or use your favorite text editor and then a space followed by dot x i n i t r c that should open up a file it might be new it might not if it's not you'll see some other stuff already written in here you can append this line to the file but what i want to add in is exec space dwm that way x and it executes dwm on a user login all right i want to save this file so i'll do colon x for me and I can see my file has been written. At this point, I think we're ready to compile those files. At this point, I think we're ready to compile those repos that we cloned down. If I type ls, I see dwm and st as directories. Let's change directories into the st directory first, so cd space st. If I list the contents of this directory, we see we have quite a few files here. We can compile things by typing sudo make space clean space install and if everything went successfully we'll see that we have no errors and a file was copied over to the user local bin directory and we should be ready to use st at this point so now let's go into the dwm directory so i'll go back one and then change to dwm in here i want to really do two things let's first build this one as well so sudo space make space clean space install this one should have no errors as well and it looks like everything worked just fine all right clearing things out before i move on i want to edit one file in here and that's the config file so i'll do sudo vim and then config.h and in here i want to search for forward slash sh and you'll see it down here what seems to be line 55 of the file. We want to change this because it says the helper for spawning shell commands is uh, bin sh. So sh is currently being used, but we want our new terminal that we just got done compiling to be used instead. We can do this pretty simply by changing to the location of where st can get executed. So according to the build process before, it's being stored in user local bin st. I'll show you how to check it out just to make sure, but I just remember it from the build process. So that's what I'm going to put in here and then save and exit out. In order to check out where st is located, we can do which space st and we can see user local bin st is the location of st and that's where it's getting ran from anytime you type st in. And that adds up to what was in the file if we look above. You're getting very close at this point. All right, and the final thing I want to do is edit the bash profile file. So I can do that by doing vim space dot bash underscore profile. Now this probably already exists if you have a user and you're using bash. So there might be some stuff in it. We'll press enter to open it up. And as you can see, there are a few lines. We want to go to the bottom of this file and insert a new line that says start x and that's it after that line is in there make sure to save and exit out of the file and now at this point you can do two things either exit out of the user and try re-logging in or just reboot and that should load things up i'll first exit and log in with my user once more type my password in and congratulations if you made it this far you've successfully installed dwm and let's confirm that st works as well to open a new terminal up we need to press the mod key shift and enter now the mod key typically is the alt key with the standard setup here in dwm so if i press alt shift enter look at that i got a new simple terminal loaded up on my screen i can also resize things if I type the mod key, which is alt, and then use the right key in order to change the window up, and I can move it around using the left key and holding down alt here on the screen. Let me increase the size 
of the font here. That way we can see things pretty well. And I'll make a quick edit again, just to show you how to change one thing up here in DWM. If I type ls, I'm here in the home directory of my user. I will type cd and open up the DWM directory. And let's open up that config file again, sudo vim config.h, type our password in, and let's search towards the top of the file. In here, I see this static constant char defined as monospace size 10. Let's change this up to something like 16 to change our font size up. And I'll change it both on the menu as well as the overall font here for DWM. Another thing, I'll remove a few workspaces by deleting some of these lines. And that's a couple changes that we'll make. What I expect is up here, we'll only have a four workspaces and the overall font will get larger by six pixels. All right, so I'll save and exit out of there. Now, in order to make the magic happen, you have to do sudo make clean install. This will recompile DWM. That way the changes take that you just made. And as long as you don't get any errors, you know that you did everything right. Now, notice how it didn't change. Well, that's because things need to get redrawn. So we can exit out of this current session and then type mod, so Alt Shift Q. That will completely shut down X server. And then we can type exit once more. Now, if we re-log in, we should see the changes. And there we go. You can tell up top, things have changed and things are looking good. You're well on your way now to customizing DWM. Following this, you, you can search the Suckless website where you can install patches for DWM, various different tools from Suckless as well. Play with the terminal here and customize it to your own taste. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me and a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.